Hi everybody, Shane Armon Rowe here, and we're gonna make this one a quick one today. Let's go over to desktop mode first, and we need to verify that you have a copy of the game image in question. Now there's a couple of different options. We're going to be using this rather easy to obtain one, and make sure it's not zipped, 7 z RARD, TARD, whatever. And you're going to head to this website. The link is in the description below, and you're gonna click the Linux slash Steam Deck and save that to your downloads. Easy peasy, very small, very quick. We'll extract it using extract and it auto detect subfolder. Perfect, and then we'll clean up after ourselves. We'll move that to the trash. And let's take a look. There's only a couple of files in here, a readme in this app image. We're gonna go ahead and run the app image and it's gonna ask you if you wanna execute it. Yeah, yeah, we're sure. Okay, and then it says, oh, you need the ROM in there. Okay, I was thinking maybe it might open a dialog box to ask where the ROM is, but that's okay. We can go right over here and drag it into that folder and we can call it a day. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Yep, we're gonna go ahead and say execute. And here we go. Now this does take a while to do. So this is doing all the fun stuff it needs to do with that image file to turn it into the game. Now there's also other images you can use if you don't happen to have this image. I can assure you though that the image that we're talking about here happens to be uh, readily accessible, even though I'm not gonna provide you a link to it. Okay, so once it's done generating, it'll actually run the game. And there it is for God and everybody to see. And as you can see, all of the settings are here. We're probably not gonna monkey with the settings too much. This is sort of a personal basis as to what you wanna make for these settings, but we do know that it works. So let's go ahead and delete that image. We don't need that around anymore. Like I said, clean up after ourselves. Now we wanna probably move this to a permanent location. I've got a games folder over here on my SSD. I'm just gonna move it over there. That's where I want it to be permanently, and let's make sure that it survived the move, right? <laughs> okay, it looks like it's gonna go ahead and boot. We should be okay. So now we'll right click it and we will add it to Steam, right? Because I'm assuming you would like to be able to run this from gaming mode. And after a few moments, it will be added and we'll be ready to go over to gaming mode and test it out. All right, we're back here. I went ahead and renamed it off camera. So instead of being that weird name, it's now proper. And let's see if it runs. And it does. All right. Uh, it looks like everything's good to go. Our menus along the top, you might wanna remap one of your controller buttons to be F1 so you can toggle that top hard to see menu on and off. But uh, just a quick little look here before we sign off. It definitely is working. All of my settings seem to have been taken into consideration. And I think that we're, uh, we're probably pretty good to go. Listen, if you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. Always appreciate it. Now here's some uh, more footage for you without me.